Have you ever wished that there was a way to automatically promote your Google and other reviews on your social media channels? Hello, my name is Tim Fondrick, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of We're Local, where we provide everything you need to market your local business online. In today's video, I'm going to share how to save time and effort by automating this process using a tool called Zapier. And so if you don't know how to pr uh, pronounce it, just think happier, as well as how we do it at We're Local. But before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you get notified when we put out more videos on how to market your local business online. All right, let's switch over to demo mode. All right, let's jump into the demo section to kind of walk you through this process of how to automatically promote your uh, Google reviews, and I'll show you how to do other reviews as well um, on your social media channels. So let's say, you know, I wanna, I've got these reviews on Google and I wanna be able to share those. I can use an app called Zapier. And Zapier, uh, if you think happier is how it's pronounced, um, basically is the opportunity to kind of connect your apps and automate workflows. And the idea is it really works with you know, thousands of different apps that uh, you can you can basically say, connect these two apps together or multiple apps together. And if this happens, then do that. And you can do it all without having a, a developer on your team, fantastic resource. They have, um, you know, they have both free and paid versions, you know, et cetera. So what you wanna do is I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to create a Zap and, me jump over to the zaps and create one here. I'm going to create a zap in reviews, create a zap. All right. So what I can do is I can say, okay, I'm going to trigger They have a trigger app. So let's say Google my business. So what you, if, if you uh, haven't yet uh, connected, so, I, uh, well, basically, so Google My Business, you pick the app and then you say, okay, I want to choose the trigger. And when a new review happens, then uh, what I can do is, okay, I then you have to select what accounts you're working with. And so you have, basically have to authorize the different apps that you're, that you're working with. And then you say continue. All right. So... Um, then you choose, okay, so here's the location. So I'm, I'm working with our location here and then continue. So it gives you a number of options as you're setting this up and then you could uh, test the trigger. So what it's going to go do is first of all, it's kind of just going to go out and find a recent review. And so, you know, if I look back at my Google reviews, there's the review from, from, uh, Alex, here's another way to look at it, you know, just directly on, on Google. So I've got this, um, you know, we found a review. Um, and then basically what you can do is you can name your zap. So let's say new Google review. I'd, I'd like to do something like this. Uh, share on Facebook. Okay. So, so that's what it's found the review. Now I'm going to continue and say, okay, I now want, I've got the new review coming in. Now I'm going to look for a Facebook page and Facebook page. And so there I can, oops, I can basically um, choose an event. I want to create a page post, All right? And then the next part is it's going to ask me to uh, ch look for um, my account that I've authorized because you have to manage, you have to connect accounts, et cetera. And from there, it'll allow you to choose which page you want it to go to, All right? So we're local. And now here's the fun part. So it's now kind of walk, walk me through the process of connecting to my Facebook page, et cetera. And now I can uh, do something like this. So I say, you know, we love to get feedback from our customers. You know, you can type any text in here and then you could say, well, I want to insert some data. So, um, you know, you could do something like, you know, reviewer name, um, 
So you could do like, thanks, thanks reviewer name. Uh, and you could do something like that. Um, and then it gives you, you lots of different th ways to, to do this, but uh, you know, you can, you can then put in the comment. So um, put that in the wrong spot. So basically I could put an extra line there and put the comment and and then put uh, right before the comment i could put a number rating okay so now i've got we love to get feedback from our customers thanks reviewer name five stars um and stars like that so i can make that easy and then you can put in the actual comment and so from there I've got what I want in there and I can uh, link URL. I can put in the, uh, let's see what they provide for us. So I don't actually have the ability to put in the link URL in this case. So I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. So um, I can click continue. And then it's going to ask me, you know, if I want to test and continue, which, which would actually go out and, and, you know, push this review to my Facebook page, but I can get a preview. We love to get feedback from our customers. Thanks, Alex. Very five stars. I've always appreciated yada, yada. Okay. So that's the review I'm pulling in. So I can contest, test and continue, or in this case, I don't actually want to post that, um, but I can uh, basically uh, skip that test. And, uh, you know, it's a good idea to test it, but I'm not going to do it in this video. Then all I have to do is put the, um, turn it on with this little toggle right here, and I'm going to turn it off, but then, then it would be ready to go. So from there, the cool part is that I can now go back and let's say I wanted to do the same thing on uh, LinkedIn or Twitter or, you know, something like that. So I could duplicate this review, you can see I've got a couple in here already. I could duplicate it and basically jump in and go through the same process. This is now a copy. So it's already pulling the review from Google a business profile. And I would basically come in here and just say, okay, I want to change that. And I want to make it, uh, let's say LinkedIn, right? So I could just pull in my LinkedIn and go through the same, you know, same process. So I want to, um, I want to create a, a uh, great share update, et cetera. Then I choose my LinkedIn account and all that. But that's how it works uh, to uh, do the um, Google My Business directly to your social media page. Now, the question that we that people ask and they you know and they want to know. So why would you want to do this, and should I do this? And you know the big uh, the big questions here are uh, you know why would I want to do it? Well, it's a way to um, save some time, you know, automate some things. We're big on our marketing automation. You know, it, it's a great way to build social proof um, and share these positive testimonials, you know, as somebody, as a, as a place where people might be checking you out, which is your social media channels. The, um, now the, the other question that we get though, and potential downfall of setting it up this way is that you may, uh, what if you get a negative review, right? So the quote, well, you know, we, we get asked all the time, well, I don't know if I want to ask for reviews because I might get a negative. Well, it's not a good reason not to ask because most people will give you a positive review. Um, and there are gold, there is gold in negative reviews. That's another video that I'll cover. But in this particular case, you know, the idea of, well, I don't know if I want to automatically share every Google review to my social page, because what if it is negative? And it brings up a fantastic point and leads me into a segue of what we do here at We're Local. So let's say that, uh, you know, I'm inside of our We're Local dashboard. And, you know, let's say uh, I want to share reviews, but I don't want to share, you know, every review. I want to, I kind of want to have a filtering process because I, you know, I want to put my best foot forward. So basically what I can do is we have a system, you know, in, inside the, the World Local dashboard, uh, you know, if you've, got, um, if you've got a paid account and that's any of our paid accounts, we can pull in reviews from Google, from Facebook. You know, we all obviously have We're Local, et cetera. Um, but basically if I wanted to share the reviews automatically, here's how I would do it. So I come in here to reviews, 
but I, I don't want to share every review. I only want to share the positive reviews. And so what we do is, um, you know, we, we look at it and say, well, you know what, I really want to, I, I can have a review threshold of what's a positive review. So if I can, you know, four or five star reviews are generally considered positive, three are neutral um, and one and two are negative. But if I only want to share, you know, four and five star reviews, I can come in here to the RSS and API um, tab in my dashboard and I can grab this link right here. And now what I want to do, so it works a little bit differently. Let me jump over to, um, let me jump over to Zapier again. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make another copy and just jump in here, duplicate it. And uh, what I'm going to do, so I can click on it, edit, and, uh, and then I'm, instead of grabbing it from Google Business, I'm going to change the, the, the source app. And so it's going to now be a webhook. And uh, I could come in here and I'm going to retrieve the poll. Now that this is just the setting, click continue. And what it's what I can do is I can again grab this reviews API route and drop this in to the URL. So this is specifically for my company, and it's going to pull reviews now from that URL inside of my We're Local dashboard. And basically um, I can test this trigger now and basically it's gonna go out and look for a recent review. And you know, here it found it, a great reliable local company to do business with. And I can click continue. So then what I wanna do, so now I still wanna post it on Facebook. I want to create a page post I'm still going to use that account. And now I can just uh, mix it up a little bit. Not so uh, I can keep this. We want to uh, love to get great feedback from our customers. Um, and then I have this data down here. All right. So um, thank you. You know, thank you. So this thank you, uh, you know, Garrett. So getting ahead of myself, I can jump down here and grab the the rating, um, you know, five stars and put in the, uh, maybe a space there. And maybe I want to put in the actual review, which I could, so I can just jump in here, review content. And so now I've got, Hey, we love to get great feedback from our customers. Thank you, Garrett, five stars, reliable and a great job. Oh, and then I can, and then I can do the link. So one more thing that's different on this one is I can do uh, the link. And what that will do is, well, and I can, I can put the link in here, link. So I'll get rid of it right here. All right, so now I've got a link, I've got the content and I can click continue. And so now, uh, again, it's, it's got it in here. It's got a link and I can test and continue or skip the test. So what I would want to do is new in the name. I would just rename it new, uh, new review because this is going to pull in all four and five star reviews from where we're local account. So it could be Google, could be Facebook, could be we're local. Uh, and basically, you know, set these things up to share. And the cool thing is, is let me go back to, uh, well, so so the idea on, on reviews, so if I go back to the dashboard, you know, by sharing it this way, by sharing it this way, and, you know, I can jump in to, uh, you know, an individual review. Let's say I wanted to, to view this review. Um, as I covered in another video, we've got these beautiful review images. And, you know, so it's going to share this Instagram size image with the actual review on it. And that can happen automatically. So the benefit of doing this way, doing it this way is that basically you can set it up to where you're only sharing uh, four and five star reviews. You're putting your best foot forward and, um, you know, you're putting that on Facebook 
and being able to share this beautiful image because otherwise the other first way I showed you how to do it, just sharing a Google review, um, it's not gonna have this really, really nice image. So that's the benefit, two real benefits, only promoting four and five star reviews and you're sharing this beautiful Instagram type image on your social media uh, channels. So that's the benefit of having a we're local process and a we're local account. And uh, again, this is available for paid accounts. All right, I hope you found that helpful. If you don't have a We're Local account yet, be sure to click on the link below to get started. And if you have any questions about how to market your local business online, please be sure to put it in the comments below and or hit us up for a conversation and I'd be happy to uh, put it in a future video. Thanks for spending some time with us today and have a blessed day. Thank you.